Hey, what's up everybody? This is Frankie Slauson and uh, well, I just got back from uh, seeing WWE Live for the third uh, time in my entire life of being a wrestling fan since, well, I've been a wrestling fan since like 1990 and uh, this is the third time now in the last three years uh, since I've almost, well, I've lived in Rapid City almost three years. Uh, first time in 14 years that the WWE uh, came back and did a, a live event, a house show. Uh, but this is my third time overall. The first time I went was uh, uh, Fargo, North Dakota back in 2013. Uh, I guess in 2013. I went with a, a friend of mine. And then uh, last year I went to, uh, let's see, I went to Fargo in 2013, August, or July of 2013, or was it June of 2013? Maybe it was June. Yeah, it was probably June. June of 2013, and then last year, year I went in August of 2015 to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and now finally it's May 8th, or technically it was May 7th, but uh, the event was here in Rapid City, South Dakota, uh, uh, live at the Civic Center. And, you know, overall I was very impressed. Uh, the only wrestler that I thought was going to show up, there was a few, a couple wrestlers that I thought was going to show up that didn't. I thought the Dudley Boys were going to show up, and they didn't. And I thought Dean Ambrose was going to show up, and he didn't. I kind of figured Chris Jericho wouldn't, you know, because he, he just does more of this Raw and SmackDown. And very seldom does he do a live event anymore, or house show. But it was it was pretty good overall. I mean, even AJ Styles, uh, for the first time, I, I'm pretty sure ever, uh, come on, came to Rapid City and uh, took on Kevin Owens in a in a uh, classic match. It was that uh, was probably the longest match of the night. Probably went about at least over 30 minutes at least. All the other matches were kind of short, but they had about at least a good nine or ten matches overall, which I thought was pretty uh, pretty exciting. Yeah, it, uh, I I really hope that now the people that uh, whoever watches this video or anybody from the Civic Center that uh, that uh, works there now realizes that there is a still a fan base for wrestling and you know even though it wasn't completely sold out it was still a good event where a lot of people showed up from the black hills area and i think if, if more people if they started bringing wrestling it's back to the black hills like more than just once every 14 years and they did it like once or twice a year like they do in sioux falls uh I think uh, there'd be more wrestling fans around here, and uh, then they, they probably would probably do more, you know, if they did like a Raw or a SmackDown or something like that, or a pay-per-view, because they could easily do that over here. Uh, it was it was good, and I had really good seats. I was not, you know, I realized that the Barnett Arena is pretty small, so that no matter what, there really, really wasn't going to be a bad seat in the house, but for the first time in, in going to an event, in, in all the three, uh, last two events that I've gone to, my, I was a lot farther away from the ring. Well, this time I was like almost the best seat in the in the house. Like I, I only spent about sixty dollars on tickets uh, overall, and I didn't have to. I mean, you know, rather than paying over a hundred dollars for front row seats, as great as that would have been uh, to get more close with the wrestlers and everything, I paid about sixty dollars for my tickets, uh, and I got I was in the balcony, but it was like real close to the ring. The way they have everything set up, I mean, it, 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 if uh, you guys still check out my pictures and all that, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. This shirt that I'm wearing, I didn't buy it. Uh, I didn't buy anything that at the uh, at the event. I I bought this shirt for seven dollars and fifty cents at Walmart, and I and I seen a few other people have this type of shirt too. So they probably either bought them at Walmart or or they found them somewhere anyway. But there was a lot of fans, and it was it was great to see uh, young and old. You know, wrestling is kind of going back. Well, I mean, it's always been not just for kids. Even though the WWE would like to always try to make it seem like we got to go PG instead of uh, going, uh, you know, user-friendly when it comes to uh, uh, anything like that. When it comes to uh, doing uh, just regular video, or not videos, but when it comes to uh, doing uh, promotional stuff and, and pay-per-views. And, you know, they always talk about the Attitude Era, but... I highly doubt we'll ever see it come back because the only way you can have a good attitude era 
is if you change the rating back to TV 14 and have it be wrestling the way it's supposed to be. You know, I, I like a little blood in my matches, even the hardcore matches. I, I I mean, I don't like to be I don't like to be too gruesome when it comes to to what I like, but I like a little I like a little blood sometimes because that to me that makes the action more exciting. And now they've got so PG anymore. They're trying to make it more for kids than it is for adults anymore. And I think that's kind of stupid, you know. But overall, I will always be a fan of wrestling no matter what. And I just wanted to sh share with you guys in this quick little video uh, that, well, th this being my, you know, I mean, it's kind of started off my YouTube uh, YouTube video series now. I, I am back on YouTube. I, I've been back for a little while. Uh, taking a little break from doing interviews and stuff and podcasting just for a little while just because I've done so much. And I, for those who wonder if I'll ever do any more interviews in the future, I plan on it. Probably won't be won't be until after I get back from my vacation. It probably won't start up again until July or August because there's just a lot of I I, I got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, um, I'm gonna be going back home to northern Minnesota here next month for my sister's wedding, and that's gonna be a, a, a giant video. So, uh, uh, well, of what I film for my own personal use, and then I'm filming filming my sister's wedding as well. But anyway, overall the event was good. I give it. I give it 9 out of 10 when it comes to the, a, a rating. And the reason why I give it 9 out of 10 was because it's a live event, but we all know that it's it's all about money when it comes to the WWE. They'll, they'll really do nothing for free. Uh, and I, I understand that business is business, you know. It's just the way the world works, you know. Uh, it's like right away when you walk in, you got people – you know, trying to sell you stuff, and it's like, you know, and then they don't, you know, they won't take your debit card. They say, we, we can only take cash. Like, they're, like, I'm not a big John Cena fan, but they were selling, like, flags and stuff, or, like, uh, like uh, towels or whatever that said, you can't see me on there and whatnot. And, or, yeah, you can't see me, and then, uh, what is this, uh, never say die or whatever, or never, never going to quit or never give up. Yeah, never give up. Anyway, I mean, I thought that was all right, and but I probably would have bought the program guide, I, you know, but they didn't accept, they, they said we had to use cash and everything. I mean, I could have probably went to the ATM and all that stuff, but I just, my purpose was not to spend any, really any money this time around, because I did that in the last couple of events, and, you know, they, 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 they won a lot for a lot of their stuff. I mean, you know, when TNA was popular and stuff, and came down, came up to Grand Forks, North Dakota the first time, and. And then Bemidji, at least their stuff was pretty affordable, you know, because you had the Don West uh, brown bag special, which I thought was always kind of neat. WWE don't do stuff like that. Oh, well, it's just clearing stuff from old wrestlers and whatnot. But overall, it was good. Uh, there was not a lack of anything. I mean, they they uh, it was it was great just overall to see WWE finally come back to the Black Hills, you know, or some type of wrestling to come to the Black Hills. They've been lacking that over here. Rapid City likes to stay in the past a lot. They don't really, you know, when it comes to the believe in the future. They believe in a future, but sometimes certain people around here like things just the way they are, and they don't accept change very well, like they probably do in other cities. But overall, I was pretty impressed uh, by the event, and good job to the Civic Center overall for putting them on. And I know some of the people who are heads up over there because I used to work over there. There's one guy in particular that I know who I who was, who was probably the, the nicest guy that I ever worked with, who was a kind of the one of the main office guys and and uh, guys in charge. And uh, I was really happy that he finally like you know I suggested to him a couple of years back that he should bring WWE and and I don't remember when he said why we don't have that over here. I I I, I don't think he really said much about that at the time, but but I'm glad somebody finally convinced him to do it and. Uh, make it happen. This will probably finally show everybody that we do still have a fan base, you know, for people that are wrestling fans. So, overall, I'm Frankie Slauson, and we will see you in the next video real soon. And I think the next video I make, I'm going to talk about my new, uh, I just recently bought a new surround sound system, a 7.1, yes, 7.1 surround sound system, and, uh, I think I think uh, you'll like the you'll like what you see.
But anyway, I'm Frankie Slauson, and we'll see you guys next time for another great Frankie Slauson Show video. Bye-bye.